are just the uh, Wolverine 8mm film converter and most of the tapes I had want, that I wanted to convert were the 3 inch tapes which worked great on this equipment but I had several that were much larger 6-7 inch reels so after doing a lot of research trying to find out what would work best um, and how to make this unit work I actually came up with a great solution and this is working exceptionally well you can see I have two of the older Kodak Instamatic M95 projectors. The one here on the left doesn't really work at all. The, the bulb works, but the motors are shot. The one on the right here seems to be working fine, so that was kind of a bonus. I wasn't sure what to expect. But anyway, you can see here at the bottom, I don't know if this even helps at all, but I did create like a little uh, cover a block for some of the outdoor lighting so the film might be a little more uh, colorful. You can see I just made this out of uh, note cards and whatnot so it just fits over here. Like I said, I don't know if that really works. But anyway, you can see on the old Kodak Instamatic uh, projector I'm using the left reel from the other side as the feed reel. Like I said, this, this is not working at all, but it's a great way to feed it. I've read where several other people have set up um, just a pin or a pen or, you know, something that just lets it feed, so that would be great, but this even works better. On the right side here, I have the projector that actually works, and I'm using that as the take-up reel. So you can see the alignment really needs to be about perfect. This is the first video I've converted, and it's taken about mm, three hours so far. But there's been no problems with splices or no issues. Everything's working great. You can see on this side, the take-up reel's working as it should. Um, it's pulling it just enough to take up the extra slack. I know the, the feeding method here isn't the best. It's not really going over any kind of a roller or any kind of a system to feed cleanly but it still seems to be working and then as I mentioned this projector doesn't work at all but it's working great as just a general feeder and keeping a little bit of tension on the film so anyway I'm really a big fan of this Wolverine I wish it would do bigger reels but the fact that it doesn't hasn't really stopped me um, so I hope I hope that this video is helpful to somebody out there that's trying to set up theirs to do larger reels as well. And I appreciate everybody that's posted tons of different ideas to make this work. For me, this was the best situation. And this, I, luckily I had the equipment that I needed. So, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And good luck. Thanks.